Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? We've got the Jeep still up on the lifter, and we've just got a few things left to do to this one, and then we can send it off. Oh, we can actually change the front license plate, I didn't realise that. Right, the first thing that we need to do, so we've done the leaf spring plate, and the U-bolts, and the inner tie rod, that was all done, and then the knocking, sec uh, knocking sound, that's all been done as well, so you've got more leaf spring U-bolts. They've all been dealt with. So we've got brake problems. We've got one drum wheel cylinder and one brake drum that we've got to change. And I'm going to just mark those up so that we can easily see them. And then we've got a loud exhaust. We've got the exhaust manifold, the exhaust section, and the rear muffler. So the rear muffler is easy enough. That is got to be that one right there. We can take that one off. I'm just wondering if we can actually change that one, if we can repair that one in the, um, the repair bed. Uh, or the repair area so we can take those two off and then the other one is up there which we need to do from the engine bay so we have to lower it down and we've also got two uh, things to do with the brakes so let me just uh, lower that one down there and I'm just going to click on this wheel here a minute and that is the uh, the brake that needs to be done over on this wheel over here so if we take this one off a moment and take that one out there get those two off right so that's that one down out and then the the actual brake drum is over on the other side so we've got one over there and we've got one on this side so well so we take the brake drum off there we want the drum wheel cylinder we're going to take the two brake shoes off then we can get the drum wheel cylinder that's that side done and then we want to go over and we want to do this one over here hang on a minute let me just see did i actually get one of those I don't think I did. I think I still need to buy that one, actually. So let me go back to here and to part mount. Drum wheel cylinder. No, I don't have one. And that's at 4%, so we're not going to be able to repair that one anyway. Uh, so you want to go... No, we don't want to go like that. Do that and press T. Actually, I'll, I'll do that in a moment. I just want to check on here if we can repair these items. So we'll lift up the bonnet and we'll jump inside. And we'll take off the other one, which is the exhaust manifold that we've got to do. So we want the air intake, which is... So we've got to take the filter cover off first. Then we've got to take off the carburetor here, which is these two nuts coming off of there. And then we've got the intake manifold, which is a couple of nuts there that are fixed into the engine. And four bolts up here. Remove those. And that one there. Right, and now we can get to the actual exhaust manifold, and that is nuts again. Most of the things we do are bolts holding it on, but this one, the bolts are fitted into the actual engine block, which is quite a bit different, and it's nice. It's nice to see that happening every now and then. So let's go to the repair bench and see if we can repair any. So we don't want to actually repair any of those. Those are fine. If there's no issues with them whatsoever, the ones that we do want to repair... Um, we don't have options for. So I'm just going to buy some replacements a minute and then we can put this one back together and send it off up the road. Alright, I've got the bits that we need for this. So we just go jump back to the engine a moment and we go to part mount. We can put the new exhaust manifold back onto here and just do up those bits. I wonder if I can put that other one on from up here. I don't actually know. No, you've got to be under the car to be able to do that one. So we'll put these other bits back into the engine. That one can go back on there. And... So there's four bolts from up underneath, and then two nuts to go onto there, and then we've got the carburetor to go on there. Put that one, one round the back, and then finally you've got the air filter cover over the top. So that's all the bits that we need to do from inside the engine, and then we've got this piece to do on the wheel here, and that one's easy enough. We've already taken everything off. We just need the new drum wheel cylinder to go on there. And then we can put back the brake shoes that were already on, as well as the brake drum. Actually, no, I don't want that one. That's the wrong one. Uh, I need part unmount. I've got to put the older brake drum on this side, because the brake drum we're replacing is on the other side. And if you get them the wrong way round, that's the one thing about this game that I don't like, is it doesn't allow you to get them the wrong way round. We've got to put on the 65% one on this side, because that's the one that we took off of this side. And it's, I mean... I could kind of see where it's coming from, but at the same time, it's it's a slight niggle about the game. But, I mean, to be honest, if that's the only issue that I can find with this game, that, um, I mean, I know nothing about running a garage or anything. As, as many of you have now discovered, I, I really do know nothing about running a garage or anything even remotely similar. So, yeah, it's, um, for someone who's a novice, that's really the only issue that I can find. And... 
it's, it's a very, very minor niggle. It really is. There's, there's nothing serious about that whatsoever. So I imagine that someone who's more experienced at running a garage would be able to find other things. I mean, there, there are a few bits like um, not being able to see all of the pipes and the hoses in the engine, which should be there. I mean, even I can see that there are pipes and hoses missing. And people have said in the comments section that the pipes and hoses being missing from various engines is an annoyance that they would rather... Uh, see in the game and at the moment you know with them not being there it, it kind of detracts a bit from the overall experience but generally speaking I've just had positive feedback about the game and and you know it's it's a um it's it's fairly solid now I mean this is a, a later edition of the game the, the game's been out for quite a bit and it's always nice to see these games grow as you play them as as you sort of see them go through the various different stages it's really nice to see them um, develop and become an, a good solid all-round game that doesn't really have any complaints with it whatsoever so there is our jeep we have done it we tested it out last week on the off-road track which was a lot of fun i did enjoy doing that and we'll just double check that we've done everything so all of that is fine those are all done brake problems done and that one is done as well total payout 854 dollars not really a great deal of cash considering all the work that went into it, but not too bad nonetheless. Let's take a look in here. So we've got one upgrade point. At, oh, no, we don't. Available skill points at zero of nine. Um, we need to get to level 12. We're not really gaining a lot of speed on that, but I'm hoping that we will get there eventually. So I don't think we'll go for the order just yet. We'll stick with some of these others. What have we got? Oh, there's a classic. That does look like a classic. So there's 20 seconds left on that one. We've got this one here. I'm just going on the appearance of the vehicle at the moment. I think we're going to go with this one, just because I think it looks interesting. And I'm pretty sure we have already done one. I love the fact... This thing looks like Mater. This does, this, we're, we're working on Mater. That's what we, we, we that's what we got. We've got Mater in the garage. This is brilliant. Anybody who hasn't seen Cars or Cars 2, go and watch it. It's brilliant. This is Mater. We've, we've, we've got Mater here in our garage. I mean, yes, he's a little different, you know, slightly different in the color, but I mean, it's fantastic. Okay, so we've got three parts not discovered there. We've got loud exhaust, two parts not discovered. That should be fairly easy. Brake performance, again, should be fairly easy to find out. And gearbox shifts rough. We need to change the actual gearbox. So the first thing that we'll do is move the car to our rolling road, our test track. Test path, there we go. And we can run this one through the test path and see what it does. Open up those doors. I don't know why they always shut the doors whenever we save the game. And you go to here, test path. Yes, I wish to proceed. So... As soon as it starts, we can go forward. Place the wheels, place front wheels on the brake tester. Press and hold the brake. So just push backwards as soon as we've done that. Okay, so we've got the front brakes definitely got some issues. Place the, place the rear wheels on the brake tester. We'll do that one as well. And then press and hold the brake. Um, I'm hope oh, there's even more issues there. So I'm hoping that we have now found all of the issues that we need and we're not going to need to do any other tests. I mean, yes, I suppose we could take this one to the test, uh, to the test track, but, I mean, I'd rather just kind of um, hurry up and get on with it. I'd really like to be able to get our vehicle uh, going fairly soon. That there, you've got the gear stick there for this one. It's got three pedals, so it's um, a manual transmission. And, oh, there we go. Brake disc ventilated needs doing. There's a couple of other little bits there as well. Uh, but, no, that bit there, that... Thing there that's actually the ventilation in this vehicle I believe uh, you just move that one sideways and it opens up the chutes to allow the air to come in they're not you know you don't get a huge amount of um, alteration in an old vehicle like that you literally you can let the air in from outside and most of them didn't even have any type of um, heater I, I mean I don't know about this particular model that we're looking at right here but a lot of them just didn't have heaters at all it wasn't it wasn't an option it was something that you paid for later on um, as an addition to your vehicle so yeah you could either have cold air coming from in from outside or no air at all it was your options I mean I feel that those are fairly good options and oh so the next thing we need to do now that it's up onto here we want to go to car stage we've got brake disc ventilated uh, poor brake performance. So why have we only got two parts? To, I, I reckon once we strip the thing apart, we might be able to find something. And the loud exhaust, that's going to be easy enough. And then we want the gearbox. So, uh, which side do we... Well, it was both the front wheels, really, wasn't it? 
Oh no, it's the, it's the wheels are all on one side. So let's just take a look. We've got a, a minimal pass condition, 48%. All right. So we really don't have to have very good condition stuff. And I'll go for the brake disc ventilated on that side. Let's just jump onto here and see where is the one that's marked. Oh, is it is this one here anyway? That's okay. So we take this one off. There we go. And we can see if there are any other things wrong. I suspect that there might be another one wrong here. We've got the brake caliper can come off. And with that was at 51%, so that one's okay. The brake pads are 58%. The actual brake disc, that one does need doing. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything else here. But this brakes at the back on this side. This one also had some issues. So I reckon that this is probably going to be the other two items with the brakes. We're not going to need to take it to the test track in order to find out. We take the brake drum thing off. And then brake shoes. Those come off. Those were 23%. And drum wheel cylinder. So at 27%. That's going to be... The three items that we needed. If I go to here like this, there we go. Drum wheel cylinder, brake shoe, brake disc ventilated. That was easy. Right, so then we've got the exhaust. We can lift. I can already see that one of them is right there. You can... It's, that's what I love about this game. I genuinely love the fact that it's easy to identify the damaged items because of the way that uh, they just come off like that. So let me move up this way. We've got one more item to find out. And I reckon it's probably that exhaust manifold there. That looks more rusty than anything else. We do need to get this gearbox out. So we've got to take that one from the engine bay. And then we can come back to the top. So if we come out here. I'm going to replace these wheels a minute. I'll go and get the bits. So hang on. What did we need? I can't remember now. Wheel cylinder, brake shoe, brake disc ventilated. Well, those are really, really simple. We should be able to do that really quickly. So we want brake... Wheel cylinder, wasn't it? So let's just go wheel like that. And it was wheel... Drum wheel cylinder was one of them. And then brake disc ventilated. So we want... Um, let's just try ventilated like that. There we go. It was one of those. And... Uh, the brake shoes, wasn't it? It was... Yeah, one one lot of brake shoes. Not that one. Not the, not the servo. Uh, press the X there. There we go. Uh, brake shoe. We want one of those. So then we want the exhaust pipe, and so I've, I've bought those three, wheel cylinder, brake shoe, and disc ventilated, yes. Uh, we need the rear muffler V8OHV, so if we go and we press T, we go, let me just try OHV and see what that comes up with. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. And rear muffler, there we go, that one, right there, rear muffler V8OHV, that's the one that we want. And was there anything else that we needed to get? Oh, gearbox shifts rust. We need the gearbox I6B as well. So if we go and get one of those. And I'd go gearbox like that. And then we can just pick out the right. I6B, that one there. That's $800. So we've got a couple more bits that we've still got to find. It's on the last one. Well, no, one more piece that we've got to def uh, find. So let me bring this one back down again. We can put those wheels back on. And at the same time, we can lift this one up. Jump in here. We do need to take that starter motor off. That one's got to come off in order to be able to remove the gearbox in a minute. So we can take that one out. And then it's not that one. It's this here. This exhaust manifold, I reckon, is probably the one that we're going to want to do. So in order to take that carburetor off, I need that one. Air filter cover. We're going to take that one off up there. Then we've got to remove the air filter. Then the air filter base. And then the carburetor. To take those two out in there. And then we've got to take off the intake manifold. And we've got a whole load of bolts holding this one onto the side. Quickly whiz up through those and one there. That one comes off. And it's this one here. Exhaust manifold, I6B. That one... Hang on. Let me take it off first. And then we can see if I've got this right. I mean, the rust on it is... And a fair indication that this is the one with the issue. Yes, 10%. That was the one with the issue. Okay, let me come out of there a moment and see if we can repair it on the table or not. Uh, oh, we can actually repair the brake shoe on the table. $4 repair cost. Uh, go for it. You failed to repair it. The pass condition decreased. This one we could also try repairing. Go for it. $2. And that was 83%. So we could actually do that rather than using a brand new one that I just went and bought. We can use that one. I uh, don't think... Is there anything else that we want to do on here? We go up this way. No, there's nothing else I want to do because the intake manifold is not the one that I want. Okay. 
Let's go back onto here and cast data. So we've got those, the loud exhaust. It was the exhaust manifold I6B is the last item that we want. So I'll go onto here and just go exhaust manifold. And it's the I6B that we want. That one right there. I'm starting to... If I'm just going for one part, I can actually remember the bits. If I've got to go for multiple parts, then it's not quite so good. I, I'm not quite so um, switched on with remembering everything. Right, let's go on to here, and I want to go part mount. So we want to put the brake disc ventilated. i got two of those. Why have I got two? And brake disc ventilated, it was the front one that I needed to replace, wasn't it? So then we can put the brake pads back on, and those are at 50-odd condition, 50% something condition. And that one as well. You and... Ooh, I don't actually know which one. All right, let's give... Let's let's do the... Are you sure you want to install? Yes, I do. We'll do... We'll give that one the slightly better condition one. I think that was one that I repaired anyway at some point. And then we'll put this wheel back on. Because we're not going to need it off for the next part. And then once we've put this one back together, we've got the other one over there that we want to do as well. So let's whiz over this end and go for the drum wheel cylinder. Now this is the one that I repaired, is that one, and I'm going to use that one. And then we want brake shoes. Now we're going to need new brake shoes because the, I did try to repair them and that didn't actually work. Um, brake drum and rim basics. So we can put that one back on as well. I don't think... The, no, the brake drum wasn't needed repairing. It was just the brake shoe. So there's everything that we need to do from here for the moment. So lift it up. And can I... No, I can't actually look. While it's moving, you can't move. You, you can't look at it. Car status. Those three are done. Perfect. And we've got the two exhaust sections underneath that we'll deal with in... Well, one of them is underneath and the other one is at the top. But for the moment... I need to remove this drive shaft, and that is the bit that I don't like. I don't like the fact that you've got to do it at really long distance. I have said this before. I say this in every episode where I have to remove one of these, and it's, to be fair, it's, it's still something that bugs me. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to mention it more than once. Right, so we've removed everything else, and now I can take the gearbox off. There isn't actually anything else that we need to do here. The actual clutch and everything inside the gearbox, that's all in good condition. We don't need to worry about it. It's just the actual gearbox itself. So now we go to uh, part mount and we put the new one back on. And if we're able to repair a gearbox in a minute, then we will do so. I suspect that we're not going to be able to do so. You can actually sell junk. Someone told me that there's a way you can sell junk, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Uh, not gearbox. I want... Nope. I'm going to come back a little bit. Can I see that one so that I can actually repair, uh, put it back on? I'm trying to look at it. No, I can't. Uh, no. Nope. Okay, let's go muffler. and Right, so you've got to click all the way over here for the drive shaft. And yes, you do have to do it at very, very long range. That's okay. We'll live with this. Um, yeah, someone said that there is a sell all junk option in the inventory because we've got loads and loads of stuff. So I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to sell all junk and sell everything that is no longer any good to us. That's all done underneath there. We've got one more thing that we've got to do. Well, there's a, a couple bits to put back together. And it's, it's all just inside here now. We've got the starter motor that we've got to put back on. Uh, so we're going to go part mount and we can put the starter back on there. You can go back on. Put you on there, and then we've got to rebuild the exhaust section as well. So we want that one on there, and put that back in. Keep going all the way across. A couple more. Now those are in, and then we can put the intake manifold on the top, and repair that one as well. This is why you don't try repairing other people's things, because... Um, if they don't actually need it, you're just going to end up breaking it, and then having to buy a new one. And you really don't want to have to do that. So we put that back on, and then you've got to have the air filter base goes on. Next, you put the actual air filter itself. And then finally, the air filter cover goes on top of that with a bolt in the middle. And that's everything. That's all we've got to do. So we can put the hood down, and Mater can come off of the car lift, and he should be finished. There you are, Mater. You're ready to go. That's awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. I've actually prepared Mater. I'm really, really pleased with that. He's ready to go. 2,248 payout, finish order, and he's gone. We're still level 10. How long is it going to take us? I really want to get to level 12. That's, that's kind of the important thing here. Right, uh, we go to the next one. We've got a Mazda over here. Quite poor condition. 
Um, right, let's try and find one with a bonus if we've got... They, they all say no bonus. They all, they're all saying no bonus. That one needs oil, engine. We haven't done much to the engine for a while. What's the Dodge Challenger? Okay, that thing looks pretty good. Let's try working on that one. Uh, we've got a list provided, but most of it doesn't have a list provided. That could make life more difficult. Although, to be fair, none of them seem to have lists provided anymore. Um, that one could be quite interesting. Repair all engine faults. Car does not start. Engine power has failed. Car is loud, grinding and shaking. Transmission. Find and fix all gearbox. I think that one could be entertaining. It, it could be interesting. I was going to say interesting and entertaining. I tried to say them both at the same time. I don't know if you quite caught that, but um, I did. Right. That thing looks pretty cool. Okay, I like this one. So what do we got? Uh, part not discovered. And then we've got water pump pulley, timing chain and rocker arm. Spark plug. Engine power failed. Car is loud. Grinding and shaking. That'll be the actual gearbox, one of those. Transmission is noisy. Find and fix all gearbox problems. We got a lot of issues with that one. But first, we're going to go to the inventory. And this is all of the inventory. Uh, what do we got? Um, if I go engine... Ah, there we go. All. Whoa. We have got a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what it actually classes as junk. It'd be interesting to find out because, you know, I mean, we got a few items that are extras, but n most of it isn't. So at the moment, we're on 26,435. Sell junk. Are you sure you want to sell junk parts? Yes. That gave us 825. Is that it? Okay, so we've certainly cleaned out an awful lot here. What is that? Barn location map. Do you want to add barn destination into your map? No. We'll keep hold of that for a moment. That could be interesting. There's something else there to find. Um, actually, let me go over here to the main gate a minute and use. So we've got a barn up there and a barn over there. So there's another barn basically available that we could go and use at some point, but we're not going to use yet. So let's get this one over onto the lifter. I don't think we're going to find out very much by moving it to the rolling road or anything like that. What we really want to do is we want to get this one up into the air and start stripping bits out. It's got all kinds of issues. The likes of which we have seen before, to be fair. A lot, a lot of this stuff we have seen before. So we've got uh, like water pump pulley, timing chain and rocket arm should be fairly simple. And then car does not start is a spark plug. One single spark plug. Engine power has failed. Now that could be anything. Ooh, what have we got in here? Um, well, first of all, let's try taking that battery out. 52%. Uh, what is the percent? Oh, it's got to be 45%. So it's not that one. It's not the battery. Global body condition, 48. Interior, 48. This thing's not in very good condition, to be fair. And Right, so down here we've got the gearbox. We want to take that starter motor off. That one's from underneath. All right, that's a bit unusual. Most of them are from the top. And more to do with that. We've got the intake manifold there doesn't look to be in great condition, but none of this car is in particularly good condition, and this is going to be more difficult. It's going to be more difficult to find out which one is the rusty one. We've got ignition wires can come off. Now, one of those spark plugs is not working, so I need to find out which one. Uh, actually, there's an easy way to do that. We can do that by car does not start, spark plug highlight it like that um, and it's because it's the over this side right it doesn't actually look any different to the other spark plug so we'll just take that one out that one can come out there and right so what other issues have we got then so we've got it doesn't start power has failed the car is right well if the car is loud that's got to be something to do with exhaust and stuff like that so it could be the intake manifold up here um what else have we got on here that it could be? We've got exhausts as well from down here. And, oh, there's one back there. That one doesn't look very good. That one looks to be in quite poor condition, actually. So I suspect that might be one of the issues, but it's not all of the issues. I still think it's this one up here. So let's go up and remove the air filter. We'll go for this first. We'll take that one out. We'll go for the round air filter there. Remove the base. And we've got a four-barrel carburetor. I think it said four-barrel. I've no idea. No idea. What, I don't even know what a carburetor does. It's, it's something to do with letting the air in, but I don't really know how it works or what it's supposed to do. Um, that's at 54. So then we've got the intake manifold here. I reckon that this one looks rusty enough to be in bad condition. 
Take that one out. And 20%. Yes, I was right. So we got one item there that we needed to have removed. And now we can go here. So car is loud. Really? That should be one of them. Transmission noisy? No. Nothing there. Engine power? No. I just took off 20%. Repair all engine. Oh, there's one. Intake manifold 2 carb. And round air filter 2 carb. Oh, okay. I didn't actually, I didn't actually think that it was going to be those. Um, we've also got the water pump thingy. Oh, what have we got around this side? Okay, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. There's a... Oh, that one there, that water pump pulley. So we want to take off the radiator fan. Just bring that around here a little bit. I'm going to do the radiator as well. We've got that one there. I can go... F yeah, let me remove the radiator. That one's at 46. What percentage do we need? 45. Okay, so th that one's no good. Uh, that one's that one is okay. It's, it's not one of the items that we want to find. So the water pump pulley, that one's got to come out. And the alternator looks to be in pretty good condition, to be fair. That's at 58. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, steering rack? No, that's not... That's not it. Right, water pump there. And steering pump. I don't think it's those. Hmm. Right, now I'm kind of lost. We've got engine head covers. Tapping sounds from the... So we need the, the rocket arm, the water pump pulley, timing chain. Oh, okay. So we've got to get to the timing chain. That's got to be underneath this lot here, isn't it? So we want to take off that water pump there. Take you out. Then we're going to need to remove that belt and then this crankshaft pulley. And then that timing cover. There is no way we're going to be able to finish this car today. This one is going to be... We're going to be stripping this one apart today and then next week we'll be putting this stuff back together again, I should think. So the timing chain there, that was at 9%. I'm curious if that... Oh no, the crankshaft isn't going to be anything there. Well, what about that cam gear? I'm going to try removing that one. That's at 57. That's fine. Um, ignition distributor. Okay. That's a new one. Nope, I can't remove that. And I'll remove the clips. And see if they're there. 49%. And 52. I really wish this car was looked after a little bit better. That's... They're all in like 50%, so is there, you can't really tell that there's anything wrong with the thing. Okay, none of the... Oh, I can remove the camshaft. It's fine anyway. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, okay now I'm I'm really kind of scraping the barrel here for things that might be wrong with this vehicle. I'll tell you what, let's come out of here and we'll lift it up into the air and we can start taking a look from in underneath. We've definitely got some noisy problems with this exhaust at the back. We go like that, and then the V8 muffler, that's at 10%. This one looks all right on this side. That's at 48%. That's fine. And it doesn't appear to be very much wrong back here. So let's go. The two middle mufflers look fine. I can't see any issues with those. We do need to... No, not that one. I'll tell you what. If I go... I want to go back a bit. Yeah, middle muffler and the drive shaft. That's the one that I want to remove. I can take that drive shaft off, I can then remove the gearbox, and the gearbox is one of the things that's got the problem. I suspect that once we've removed the gearbox, we will find that part of the problem is inside the gearbox. It's the, um, all the clutch plates and everything like that. So we got the V8, oh, is the, yeah, V8 OHV, I think it is. Take that one off there. 12%, that one's off, and yeah, the V8 OHV, that was 12%. Clutch pressure plate, that looks to be in bad condition. So uh, then the first thing we want is clutch release bearing. There's one item. And then the pressure plate, that's got to be another item that is in poor condition. We can remove that one. There we go. Next up, we've got the uh, clutch plate. That one's out. Flywheel, that one's bad as well. A whole load of items there. I think the crankshaft does actually look okay. But I reckon now, if we take a look, we'll find that we've done quite a few. So we've still got faulty parts here on the engine. There's four parts there that we haven't found. Tapping sounds are those three. Car does not start is the spark plug. Power we haven't found. Car is loud is the rear muffler. That one's done. The gearbox itself. Transmission noisy is the four parts from the clutch. Fix all the gearbox problems. Well, that's the same bits again. So we've got those. So we've just got the... the basically the um the power thing isn't it we've got repair well the engine faults we've got four faults in the engine so it's it's it is specifically listing engine faults 
So I'm kind of hoping that that does mean that it's not outside of the engine bay. Um, although that, that does, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's outside of the engine bay. It just means that uh, we've, we've got a bit of a, a better chance of finding it if we stay in the engine bay. Um, okay, let's drop this one back down again and we'll take a peek in from the top. So we've taken out a few different bits. We've tried the battery and things like that. Um, we've removed the radiators. Uh, we're going to try all sorts of things now. We've got the ignition coil. That's no good. Uh, oh, that's fine, rather. Um, it's not that one. Let's try the fuel filter. Nope, it's not the fuel filter, although it was pretty close on the fuel filter. I don't know if I can get to the oil filter. That's from underneath. Although, to be fair, the oil filter looks to be in reasonable condition. So I'm thinking it's inside the engine, which means that we're going to need to take off this. Oh, that's got a lot of stuff on it. How much can we rem Oh no, you got it. It's the pan from underneath. You can take the bits off the top and you don't need to worry about the oil spilling everywhere and costing you money. Um, but it's the bits from underneath. So we're going to remove both of these engine head covers and see if that will push us any further forward. We've got four parts still to discover on this one, if you remember. And I'm hoping that we can at least discover what's wrong with this one before the end of the episode. And then in our next episode, we'll be able to do something about them. That one there looks to be in poorer condition. Although one of them was a rocker arm. 28%. Yeah, so we've got one rocker arm there. And there was that was on somewhere on the list. Uh, tapping sounds. Yeah, that rocker arm. That was the one that needed doing. Uh, so we've got everything down here has all been... Dis oh no, engine power has failed. Part not discovered. So, engine power. Now, we've got the spark plug. That one's been done. But, I mean, is there another spark plug that needs doing? We can keep the spark plug. I'll tell you what, we'll take all the other spark plugs out just in case they've actually... It's like kind of a, a red herring type situation where they've told us about one, but they haven't actually mentioned the other spark plug. That still has an issue. And, you know, I don't know if they're that devious when they're, when they're doing this. But it, just in case they are, we will remove the other ones. Uh, oh, 20. Yes, there was another spark plug. 27%. Oh, that was devious. There, engine power has failed. Still part not discovered for that. But there was definitely a second spark plug. So let's go for the rockers now. Is there any, It doesn't look like there's anything on that. Um, exhaust manifold. We'll take that one off. I don't think there's going to be any issues here with this one, but we can at least remove it over there like that. And then engine head. Right. Uh, we need to actually remove the, the rocket arms. Valve push rods. I wonder if those are anything to do with it. I don't know if I should start <laughs> stripping all of those bits out just yet. I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to, but I don't see any other bits in the engine here that could possibly be the issue. We've we've kind of stripped everything else out, to be fair. Um, I've got the exhaust manifold over on this side, which I will remove. And I guess we're just going to kind of start moving into the engine itself because power failed. We took everything else out, and we've still not come up with a solution. So we want to take off these rocket arms. This is actually going to take a bit to remove these. These are a time-consuming process. Each one has got its own little bolt. So take that one off. Nope, there's no fast way to do this. There we go. Take that one out. Like that. And then that one out. And then the next one. This, I can understand why some people are not going to enjoy working on cars. Myself included. Because it's going to take forever to be able to work your way through any of this. Right, so those... Oh, I see. So then you've got to get the valve push rods. So you take all of these valve push rods out. Let's just keep working our way through and we'll take all of them out like that. Have I found any that are low percent? I haven't actually been checking the percentages they've come out. And that one there as well. That was 45. Oh, what was the, what was the list? It was not on there. And 45 is the minimal um, amount. So we've still got three bits to discover. Let's take off the engine head. So we get, we're getting somewhere now. We've at least done half of this car. Um, or half of the engine. We can take the engine head off. There we go. And now we're moving into the interior. I don't really see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong underneath here. We can remove the power steering pump. Maybe is that got it? I don't think that would be anything to do with it. I can't imagine for a moment that the power steering pump has anything to do with it. That's the engine block. Okay, let's go back onto this side and we'll do the same as we did over on the other one. 
That's my timer going off. I want to try to find these bits before I have to go. Because I would at least like to try to find them. I will actually go up and I will check the fuel tank in just a moment. I'm going to remove the rest of these rockers. This may actually be counterproductive, removing all of these, because we want to go and check that fuel tank. If you remember, a couple of episodes ago, we had an issue with the fuel tank, and eventually I found it was the, the fuel intake. Right, did I find anything there? No. Didn't find anything there, so I'll take the push rods out. If I remove all of these push rods a minute, then we can... See if it's any of those. I mean, it's probably not. I can't imagine that that is going to have caused a power failure on the engine. I just can't see that it would do it. Right, nothing there. Okay, so now let's go to the back and fuel pump. 25%, that is one of them. And fuel tank. I don't think there'll be anything from there, but we definitely got one of them there. Look at the car status. What? Seriously? Engine power. Oh, that's the engine power has failed. That's the one that we wanted there. So we've still got three engine faults yet to discover. Uh, leaf spring drive axle. That doesn't look like that could possibly be any issues there. And then we got the fuel tank from under the car. Okay, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Hang on. No, I don't want to do that. I want to swing round like this and then head back down to the engine down here. So we've got the engine head now can come out. Remove all of those bits. And those two down there. Or oh, four, five rather. I can count, I promise you. I just, you know, like pretending that I can't. And now to remove that one, we want to do the crankshaft. And to get that, uh... No. That one. Oh, and then you've got, to, you've got to do the bits from inside. Right, so we need to lift this one now up into the air. So let me just do that a minute. And then we can get this one here underneath it but there was one thing else i wanted to just take a quick look at except that that exhaust there that seems fine i can't see any issue with that that's that's going to be in fine can yeah it's, it's fine 49 percent. i don't know why i even bothered looking uh oil drain move equipment over to car lifter a and drain the oil out this is what we didn't do last time use the equipment and drain that out there's a lot of oil in that one okay and move that place equipment back then we can come in here and move. I want to go to that oil filter there. And I'm going to take that one off. 57. That was fine as well. So now we need to go to the oil pan. And we'll remove this. And then we can start taking bits out from underneath the engine. I really <laughs> I really hope I'm on the right track here. I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about this. Right, the crankshaft can't come off unless I do. So this is the piston. It's Conrod, not Conrad. I, I remember now, it's a piston with Conrod. So we need to strip these bits off. And... Have I got any... I, I, I really have no clue. Is, is this going to cause a... Pa oh, of course. Um, piston rings, couldn't it? The piston rings could actually do that. I'm sure they could. Accessible from the engine bay. Let me go underneath here. And I want to keep going with this. So we've got a rod cap. I want to take off these rod caps, don't I? Take that one and then that one as well. If I keep taking all of these off, there's, there's quite a lot of them. I don't know how many there are on here. Oh, there's another one. Um, this is a V8, so in theory there should be eight of them, isn't there? Is that right? Have I got that right? So we've got another one. That, what's that? Uh, crankshaft bearing cap. That's a bit different. And there's another one over there. U on there. I want to take that one out. And then we can remove the actual... Oh, no. So I've still got to remove those bits there to be able to remove the actual crankshaft. So I've got another one on there. Remove that rod cap. This is going to take me ages, but I really hope that this is worth all the effort because if if this isn't um, the problems underneath here, I mean, I don't think it is actually underneath here. I reckon it's um, something to do with the piston rings. I, I'm absolutely certain it's something to do with the piston rings. And what else have we got? I don't think there's anything else holding that one in place. I think we now need to come out and we need to go and get all of the pistons out of the top. Which means that we could then find it something to do with the piston rings. And I am running out of time now. So if I'm not able to find it just at the moment, I may have to come back to this next week. So let's move in here. And right, piston with Conrod. Piston rings, 59. And that was 45. Uh, 19% piston at 19%. So that was one of them. Definitely one of them. Car status. Crankshaft bearing cap was one of them. And a piston with Conrad. There, there's Conrad. 
<laughs> and we've got one more part. I reckon it's got to be another one of these. It's got to be. Because there's no way that it's not. I'm absolutely convinced that it is one of these. So we've got that one. 16, but we've done it. We've got it. Piston with Conrod. There was another one. And we go there and go car status. So there's everything has now been identified. So it was deep inside the engine. We were absolutely right. So I now need to start replacing all of these bits. This is going to take forever. This really is. This is going to take ages. Um, 50, 45% uh, we've got to repair them to. So not very much. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to... Oh, no. 45. As long as this gets above 45. There's still only 33. We've got to do that one again. And we broke it. Okay. The rest of them are actually okay. Yeah. Everything else that we're able to repair is in perfect condition anyway or it's good enough condition for the vehicle so that's it um that is all i got time for today so until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later